Chris, we had Jonah, we had Shiz started for Mumford because of a uh, team issue, and then who else started? Julian started ahead of Wayne Hamzaidi. So really, the Shiz Mumford thing was for something we had going on as our team, and then the Julian was just to replace it. Less of a reaction to what they did, more just what we needed. Connor, it's first of all great to be home. Uh, it's good to see you. Congratulations, four uh, losses in a row. What were you taking? Um, as you enter today's game, uh, some of the losses I was kind of checking in on on those uh, just seemed like they were sort of kind of down to the end. What did yeah, you I thought we lost four tough games. Uh, not really. College Park, I thought we didn't have our best effort. I think Maine is a very good team who has very good guards, and they're tough to play. We lost them twice, once by three. Once kind of got away from us up there, a tough place to play. We lost to Stockton, who was a very good team yes. as well. Isaiah Cannon used to be here with the Sixers. They're playing at a very high level. And that's kind of like the tier in the G League we want to be in. And I don't think in order to be in that tier, we got to win some of those games, which we have not. But I do think those were tough teams to play. Can you talk about Washburn and Bryson both filling in for Zaire? They had a really good game. Yeah, 25 I think they're combined. both excellent defenders. I think our team has a, a few great perimeter defenders, Zaire being one of them for sure, but also Julian's great on the ball, Michael's great on the ball, Michael hit some shots today, Julian hit some shots today. Those guys are talented players, they're experienced players, and they fit in really nicely. You get six guys with double favors today. Um, what, what's overall, just how good how, how good was this effort today? Um, I thought it was pretty good. I think it started kind of from the defensive end. I thought Chris did a really nice job. I think his right. numbers will show that being plus 33 and having a triple-double and really kind of owning the paint the way he did. That led to a lot of easy offense, and I think we show and we share the ball as best as we can, we get some good luck. How about him staying out of trouble, uh, foul trouble? Yeah, Once not technical foul trouble. He then protected the rim. Yeah. Um, foul foul. yeah. He, I think he's gotten a lot better at it. He had a couple of just beautiful kind of textbook basketball camp verticalities where he jumped straight up. And at his size, he's showing the discipline and the athleticism he has. I think it's a really effective yeah. architect. To get 10 blocks, like, you have to be pretty aggressive. Like, yeah. he, he, and they got to continue to go at him, which I think showed some good discipline on the perimeter. He, he's, been, he's been pumping those numbers, but there seems to have just been a couple times this season where he kind of flipped a switch as far as like his like aggressiveness and like, um, like I guess you'd call yeah. it being furious. Do you see that in like practice too? Does he have like that dog in him? I think he's... Uh, yeah, I think he has kind of a mean streak, an emotional streak to him that if fueled the right way can really help and be a positive. Sure. If fueled the wrong way can be a negative. It can take him out of what makes him successful, makes him focus yelling on the refs as opposed to yelling at his teammates as opposed to what we need from him from a team perspective. So I think part of our challenge is to channel that energy in the right direction. And knowing that for him to get to the next level, and he's like all these guys are close to doing that, that sort of stuff won't be tolerated. So he's got to be as locked in as he can be every minute he plays. A couple more. You guys are feeling up for the game for one second quarter by 21. How overall were you pleased with this win? I thought the ball movement was great. That's something that we're proud of kind of all the time. We like to let our defense fuel our offense. I thought that happened today. And they were shorthanded. I think that's the other part of this is that you go out and it's as much about your team and doing a good job as these guys are coming off a difficult stretch with a lot of injuries. You I'm took like, talk for you uh, with Marielle wanting to see improvements on ball defense. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. I thought um, a few times he missed some guys, like we talked about in terms of finding others. But in general, we have we, the Sixers. They kind of get a, a choice, so they can read situations more. Right? We're locked in on these guys, and they got to have ball pressure all the time. They got to fight over every screen. So they create that habit. They go back down there. Great. Now they get a little more room to operate. But they're already ready to play the most demanding physical style. I think he's bought into that really well, and he did a good job fighting over today. Anyone? Anyone coming off the bench? Is that like a comfort zone for you that you keep things? Yeah, I would. I mean, I would feels like it's my son. He, uh, he does a heck of a job. He plays, he plays his tail off, making plays on both ends. He's a great ball mover, and he's, he is a consistent presence for us because we know he's always going to play hard. He's always going to defend. Thanks, guys. Thanks, coach. Have a great day. We'll see you. The final score here. The six. All right, guys. We'll get players moving in a second. I'm going to ask you to pop back out here a little bit. Again, thanks to Harris. Oh, that's too cool.